No one else can save. No one else can deliver. No one else can heal. No one else can love like you do. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor. Receive all the adoration, Lord. Have a voice. Everyone who is online, you are welcome. You are welcome in the presence of the Lord. You are welcome in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. His presence is so tangible here. And I just pray that you can feel his presence tonight. The Lord is here and the Lord is with us. Hallelujah. He is a faithful God. He's a God of integrity. He will never disappoint those who believe in him. And that is why we believe in him. And that's why we declare that we believe only in the one and only true God. So I welcome you once again to the threshing floor. Hallelujah. I welcome those of you who are already online. God bless you. Those of you who will still watch us later on. Those of you who will watch on another day. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Can I tonight just take some time? And thank God for those who are tuning in every Friday. Those who are regulars. Yeah, some of them even have got uh, top fan badges. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor your sacrifice. I just want to acknowledge you tonight. As I say, I don't see who is online when the program is on. But after, then I take time uh, to watch who is online. And then I see that there, there are some people who are always, always online. May the Lord bless you. And may whatever you have received so far be permanent in your life. Hallelujah. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, God bless you and we welcome you online. This is the best place to be on a Friday night. I guarantee you, this is the best place to be on a Friday night. And also allow me to, to acknowledge the presence of my, my husband, my apostle, my pastor, 
and my main supporter, my prophet, Apostle Batmos. I just want to appreciate, you see, when, when things are nice, we shouldn't take it for granted. And I just want to appreciate God for the servant of the Lord who is part of my life. Apostle, I, I celebrate you, say. I also want to, to thank God for my children, Cassius and to me, I want to thank God for your lives. Thank you so much that you are always hands on in everything that uh, uh, concerns the ministry. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. I also want to thank especially tonight everyone who always testify. You know, people, I'm telling you things are happening. You know, the Lord is moving in our midst. The Lord is touching people. Thank you so much for those who are testifying. I'm telling you, marriages are being restored. Wombs have been healed on this threshing floor. Lives have been transformed. People have moved back together. I just want to thank God and I want to give God all the glory. It is not me. No, 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 no. I'm not taking that glory. It is God who is working in us and through us. And it is God who is giving us miracles every night that we gather on the threshing floor. So I want to thank God for those who are testifying about what the Lord is doing. It is also an encouragement for me. Hallelujah. And I just want to thank God for those lives. So tonight, be expectant because the Lord is about to do great things in our midst. And on that note, I want to welcome you to the threshing floor. The agenda remains the same. This is the place of separation. Hallelujah. The place of shaping. And this is the place of judgment. Hallelujah. Where God destroys all the enemies. Anything that is not from God in your life, in your character, whatever is not from God is being destroyed and judged on the threshing floor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is the place of worship. Here we worship God only, only, only God in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. And on that note, by now I know that you've got your Bibles, you've got your notebooks, and you've got your pens. For those, of us, for those of you joining us for the first time, please to get your pens, get your notebooks, and get your Bibles. Because I want you to follow the word of God as I'm reading so that you make sure that I am speaking the word of God. So welcome and let's get straight into the word of God. Hallelujah. Tonight we are reading the word from the book of 2 Kings chapter 2. 2 Kings chapter 2, we are reading from verses 19 to 22. And tonight I want to read from the New King James Version. For those of you who are following me in the version that I read, I'm reading from the New King James Version. 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 19 to 22. Hallelujah. The Bible reads, Then the men of the city said to Elisha, Please notice, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord sees, but the water is bad, and the ground barren. And he said, bring me a new bowl, and put salt in it. So they brought it to him. Then he went out to the source of the water and cast in the salt there and said, Thus says the Lord, I have healed this water. From it there shall be no more death or barrenness. So the water remains healed to this day according to to the word of Elisha, which he spoke. Hallelujah. Let's just pray. Father, bless the reading of the word tonight. Use me for your glory. Let a life be transformed tonight. Heal the sick. Open the eyes of those who are blind. Mm. Open the ears. Let the people hear you speak, mm. not me. Let the people see you, not me. Father, I decrease tonight so that you can increase. Mm. Let there be signs 
let there be wonders and lord once you are done doing once you are done healing once you are done saving once you are done blessing please take the glory in jesus name we have prayed amen amen hallelujah hallelujah we thank god for the scripture that we have read and the message tonight is entitled the inside story the message tonight is entitled the inside story now an inside story means something or information that is known only by a couple of people closely involved in or with something it, it's it's not an open story it's an inside story so it's only known by people who are closely involved in or with something even if everyone speculates what might have happened the truth is only known by those who are involved mm. they are the custodians of the truth hallelujah and they are the custodians of the inside story now people normally do not share inside stories no 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 that's why they are called inside stories it's 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 with the custodians it's not for the ears of everyone only for the selected group and by the grace of god for tonight the lord has allowed me to peep into some inside stories mm. the lord has allowed me to see into some inside stories oh yeah tonight i might not get a lot of comments tonight i might not get a lot of amens but might i remind you this is the threshing floor hallelujah and whatever the lord reveals is redeemed let's quickly go back to the text that we have read tonight the bible says that the men of the city came to the prophet elisha and they said please notice the situation of this city is pleasant as my lord sees it was vis visible but the water is bad and the ground is barren hallelujah the situation of the city is pleasant meaning it looks good from afar the presentation of the city is pleasant it's amazing to behold but the water is bad not just that the water is bad but the ground is barren and of course it's obvious because the water that is supposed to fertilize the ground is bad so each time the gardens are watered each time the vegetables or the fruits trees whatever is watered it contaminates the ground and it causes death and the ground remains barren the inside story now the lord revealed to me that some of you can be likened to this city hallelujah lord help me from afar it looks as if you are okay and that everything is fine from afar people admire you and you look presentable but there is the inside story that is only known to you and very few close to you the situation of the city is pleasant but the water is bad and the ground is barren listen tonight the lord wants to speak to you personally this message is not for someone else no 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 if you are online tonight and you are thinking about somebody else it is wrong you are online and this message 
is for you. Whether you are watching it tonight, whether you will watch it tomorrow, whether you will watch it next year, the moment you come across this message, this message is for you. There's a reason why you are online tonight. And there's a reason why you are listening to this message. The Bible says you are a city set on the hill. You are the light of the world. And you are the salt of the earth. For you to operate on the next level, there are some issues that you need to get rid of. These are not things that the people did to you. In case you think about people, these are things that you have allowed in your life yourself. You put it in your hand and you put it in your mouth yourself. You did it yourself. The Bible says we should lay aside every single weight and every sin that so easily entangles us and that we should run the race that is set before us. Hebrews 12 verse 1. We should lay aside every weight and every sin that so easily entangles us and we should run the race that is set before us. Now for you to be able to run the race of being a born again child of God, of being a child of God who has an impact, you need to lay aside every weight. And I'm speaking to you tonight, my sister. I'm speaking to you tonight, my brother. Now, water in scriptures mostly represents the word of God. If the water is healthy, it cleanses and it refreshes those who drink from it. It causes growth and it causes nourishment. Mm. But when the water is bad, and especially the water that is mentioned in this scripture, talks about ideologies. <laughs> It talks about self-righteousness. It talks about flesh in action. For some of you, the inside story is about your character when people come close to you. Hallelujah. It talks about the way that you treat people when they come around you. The way you respond to people and the things that you are doing of which you know it is bad. <laughs> it's not a secret. Oh yes, you said you are born again, right? You post scriptures. You post status updates. From afar, the city looks pleasant. But the inside story talks about something else. The Bible says there is no relationship, no relationship between the light and the darkness. But you created your own philosophy. And you are living together with someone that you are not married to. The city looks pleasant from afar, but the water is bad. Oh, for some of you, you know it all. Nobody can advise you. You look so sweet from afar. But let there be a dis 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 disagreement. Then the waters you release causes death and barrenness. Some of you are married. And yet you've got relationships with your opposite sex. You make it look from afar pleasant. Hallelujah. But the inside story and the waters that are coming from that relationship are causing death and barrenness. And I'm talking to someone tonight. 
as directed by the Holy Spirit. You are the nicest person in church. Everybody in church admires you. Hallelujah. Everybody talks about you being the nice person. But the staff at the office are crying because of your attitude. Hayaba Soto. The inside story is different from what it is at the church. At this time, at this age, you still have got people that you are not talking to. You still have got people that you are call, that you are calling you are not you you are not friends with and, and in a bad way. And you are a child of God. You see, at times we say that people say certain things about us. But at times it's also good to listen to what they say. It's lesson, it, it's it's good to ask yourself. Why do people say about me what they are saying? Because it might be that the waters that are coming from your city are causing death and it's causing barrenness. There is a saying that wherever there is a smoke, there is fire. For some of you, money has taken the place of God. Money has made you so proud. Your giving is not necessarily because you love God. No, no, no. Your giving is not necessarily because you love people. No, 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 no. It's to cage people. You put people in bondage. And you must be praised. That's the reason why you are giving. You must be praised in the office. You must be praised in the church. You must be praised in the family. Your name must be mentioned. And if your name is not mentioned, the waters that are coming out of your city are causing death and barrenness. And it's not that you don't know. It's the inside story. You are aware. You like it. And some of you even say, but this is how I am. My sister, my brother, you are causing death and you are causing barrenness to the people around you. So the Lord sent me tonight to make you aware of the inside story so that you can lay aside the weight that so easily entangles you so that you can walk in righteousness of God. You need to serve God and worship him in spirit and in truth. The, the spirit was just releasing these words as I was praying. My savior, my Lord. What he was saying is that yes, some of you are saved. Some of you made Jesus your savior, but you have not made him your Lord. You made him your savior, but he is not your Lord. Because if he was and is your Lord, you would obey every command. Lay aside every weight of sin. You can't be here and also there. You need to make a choice and be honest. Hallelujah. If you struggle, it's time to seek help. But don't act one thing in the morning and another thing at night. You are confusing people. And it's causing death and causing barrenness. <laughs> I'm sure I'm talking to someone tonight. I'm sure the Lord is speaking to someone tonight through me. Hallelujah. I'm sure the Lord is, is speaking to you tonight. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, the man of God asked them to give him a new bowl. Not just a bowl, but a new bowl. And in verse 20 he said, bring me a new bowl and put salt in it. So they brought it to him. 
Then he went out to the source, to the inside story of the water, and he cast in the soul there, and he said, Thus says the Lord, I have healed this water. From it there shall be no more death or barrenness. So the water remains healed to this day, according to the word of Elisha, which he spoke. And tonight with this word, the Lord wants to cast salt to the source of your inside story. The Lord wants to touch that place that you have kept only for yourself. And it was not the soul. No, 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 no. It was not the soul that caused the healing. The Lord himself did that. The soul was simply a symbol that the man of God used. Hallelujah. Now why the new bowl? Why didn't he just ask for any bowl? Why did he specifically set a new bowl? The new bowl stands for regeneration, renewal, rebirth, being born again for real. Not a spiritual amphibian living on land and in, in, in the water, being able to both light and darkness. No, 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 no. Being born again for real. Representing Jesus Christ as the ambassador here on earth, as the city set on the hill. Hallelujah. And the soul stands for healing and purification. The Lord wants you to be a vessel, to be his vessel through whom he can heal the world. Salt is used to flavor food. It's used as a preservative. That is why the men of God use these two symbols, the new bowl and the salt, to heal the waters, to heal the inside story. And tonight, this word is coming to you, my brother and my sister. Can you just allow the Lord to heal the inside story? The story that is known by you. That sin, that weight, that so easily entangles you. Today you say no, tomorrow you fall again. Today you say no, I won't do it again. Next day you fall again. The sin that so easily entangles you. The Lord says, lay aside. It is something that you need to do. You need to lay it aside. The Lord has given you the grace and the power to say, no, I can't go back again. The spirit of self-righteousness, the spirit of pride, lay aside. The spirit of using only certain scriptures and certain scenarios to justify the sin that you live in, lay aside. Can you allow the Holy Spirit tonight to go deep down to that inside story and to put salt and to heal your waters? Hallelujah. The Lord wants to use you, women of God. The Lord wants to use you, men of God. But you cannot be a vessel carrying all this weight. You cannot run the race that is set before you, carrying all this weight. You need to lay aside the weight of pretense, giving forth whom you are not when you are amongst people. That is deception. Lay aside. The weight of lies, lay aside. The weight of hypocrisy, Lay aside. The weight of anger. Some of you are so angry. So angry. Lay it aside. And the Holy Spirit said, there's a woman online, you are married. And you are so angry with your husband. You sleep with this man. You live, live with him in the house. But you are so 
angry and yet you are a child of God, lay aside. It's a weight that you are carrying. Lay it aside. The weight of willful sin and the weight of justifying your sin, lay aside. Can you come to the Lord and lay it aside? Can you just lay it aside? Hallelujah. Lay aside the weight. Lay aside the weight that so easily entangles you. It trips you. Every time you rise up and run, it trips you. Because it's weight. It's heavy. Lay aside. Lay aside. Allow the Holy Spirit to deal with that inside story. This message is not to condemn you. No, 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 no. It is for your deliverance. The Lord has seen how you are struggling and is here to tell you, lay aside the weight. I might not have mentioned all the cases and all the inside stories, but I believe that the Holy Spirit, who is more capable, is pinpointing to you right now the inside story that you are sitting with and the weight that you are sitting with. I believe that the Holy Spirit is highlighting to you the weight that you carry and the weight that you need to lay aside. The water needs to be healed. Hallelujah. The water needs to be healed for it to bring life and fruitfulness. Can you just release the issue that you are struggling with? Hallelujah. There is enough power in the blood of the Lamb. There is enough power to heal. There is enough power to deliver. There is enough power to set you free. Can you lay aside? Can you lay aside every weight? And can you just ask God to help you? If it is fear, lay it aside. For the Bible says the Lord did not give us a spirit of fear. If it is unfaithfulness to men, to men and to God, lay it aside. Can you just go ahead tonight? Can you just lay aside? Can you just lay it aside tonight? And I want you, if you can sit on your knees tonight as a sign of surrender, if you can just go down and sit on your knees tonight, can you just sit on your knees as a sign of humility, as a sign of humbleness, and can you just surrender it to the Lord? Ask the Lord to heal that inside story. Ask the Lord to heal that thing that you are struggling with. Can you just come to the Lord in all honesty, without pretense, without making it look good, without covering it? Can you just come to the Lord in all honesty? You are all by yourself tonight in the comfort of your home. Can you just be honest tonight? Because that inside story is known to you. That thing that you are struggling with is known to you. Can you just go ahead tonight and lay it aside? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lay it aside. Just lay it aside. Just lay it aside. Pray for yourself tonight. Say, Lord, I'm coming to you tonight. I lay aside, I lay aside that weight that so easily entangles me. It hurt me for all these years. I say I'm born again, but I'm between two worlds. You know what the Lord is talking about tonight. Just lay it aside. Lay it aside. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
just go ahead. Just go ahead and lay it aside. Ask the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit. Just ask the Holy Spirit for you to be able to lay it aside tonight. Hallelujah. Just ask God. Ask God. Ask God tonight. Ask God and declare tonight you are laying it aside. Just go ahead and pray tonight. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. Pray tonight and lay aside that weight. Lay it aside that sin that so easily entangles you. Hallelujah. Shanda, and the Lebo Kosiande, 
Your water is healed. Whatever shall come out of you, your speech is healed. Your character is healed. The city is pleasant and the water is fruitful. Hallelujah. You have carried it too long. The Lord was just waiting for you to come and say, It is heavy. It is heavy. It is heavy. It is heavy. And I lay it aside. That is what the Lord was waiting on. He was just waiting on you to lay it aside. Yes, you have tried in your own power. You couldn't manage because you were born again one week. The next week you will go back. And it was the Lord was waiting for you to say, Lord, I surrender. And tonight he says, that water is healed. Because you are the city set on the hill. The water is fruitful. I decree and I declare. You are healed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. So shall it be for you. So shall it be for you. So shall it be for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can you just take some time and thank God tonight. Thank God for locating you. Thank God for locating your place. Thank God for locating you. Thank God for locating your inner story. Just go ahead and say thank you, Lord. Just go ahead and say thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for speaking to me tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for speaking to me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to stand. Hallelujah. I want you to stand. You can be seated. Hallelujah. If you are still on your knees, I want you to stand up and I want you to sit. If you can stand, you can stand. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, the Bible says we can do all things, all things, not some things. We can do all things through Christ, not in our own power, not in our own strength, through Christ. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And tonight, I just want you to declare that you will not fall for the tricks of the enemy. Hallelujah. Because the Lord strengthened you. You can say no. You can say no to adultery. You can say no to fornication. You can say no to temptation. You can say no for the Lord strengthens you. Can you just open your mouth and declare tonight that I say no. I say no. I can say no. Just declare that you will say no for the Lord strengthens you. Kayaba sanda bakaya. Speak it out. Speak it out. Let the devil hear you. Let the forces hear you. You say no. No more. No more. No more. No more. You are not going back there again. The Lord has strengthened you. No more willful sin. No more weight. No more sin that so easily entangles you. Can you open your mouth? You need to say it. No more. No more. No more. Let the devil hear you. No more. No more in the name of Jesus. And I see you rise again. I see you rise again. I see you preach again. I see you taking your place in the gospel. <laughs> Who am I talking to? I see you rise up. I see you rise up. I see you rise up. Kandebo Soto. Endebeke Sata. Because this weight has silenced you. This weight has silenced you. You could not testify. You could not preach. Because every time you tried, the, 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 the devil was speaking to you. That remember you are carrying a weight. But tonight you have laid it aside. Hallelujah. 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 I see you stand up for the truth again. I see you stand up for the truth again. Hallelujah. No more compromise. No more compromise. No more compromise. You are free in the name of Jesus. The issue has been dealt with. No more death. No more barrenness. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. No more turning back. Hallelujah. Can you just celebrate your freedom? Can you stand up and celebrate your freedom? Hallelujah. 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 Can you celebrate your freedom? No more. No more. No more. Hallelujah. 
Can you just stand up and dance? Hallelujah. 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 Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let's praise the Lord. No more telling me. No more telling me. No more telling me. Let's praise the Lord. No more telling me. No more telling me. No more telling me. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. opportunity. Hallelujah. That is a weight in itself. Not being born again is a weight that you are carrying. Tonight you need to lay it aside. Weight of listening to programs. Weight of saying amen. And you are not born again. It's a weight. Weight of acting as if you are 
are born again, staying among the circles of people who are born again, and you are not born again, it's a weight, my sister. It's a weight, my sister. Tonight, I want to give you an opportunity. I want to welcome you to the kingdom of God. I want to say, come, 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 and join us in this kingdom. If you are online and you are born again, I want you to say, come, come and join us. Say, type it and say, come and join us. If you are born again already, type, come and join us, come and join us. Invite someone tonight and say, come, come and join us in the kingdom. Come and join us. It is good to serve the Lord. Invite someone. Type it out and say, come and join us in the kingdom. Come and join us serving the Lord. And if you want to take that invite tonight, I want you to say it after me. And say, forgive me, Lord. I am coming back to you. Forgive me of all my sins and all my trespasses. Jesus, I believe you died for me. And you rose and are seated at the right hand of God, making intercession for me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me tonight. I am yours now and forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We celebrate you. I just want to pray with you tonight. If you have prayed that prayer, I just want to pray with you. Lord, I thank you for all the souls who have come in tonight. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Father, I seal them with your Holy Spirit. I declare that the world will be tasteless for them. They shall not run. They shall not return back to their vomit. Never again in the name of Jesus. They have laid aside the weight of acting born again they are now born again for real father i pray that you will keep them and use them for your glory in jesus mighty name we have prayed hallelujah hallelujah we celebrate you tonight we celebrate you we celebrate you and if you have prayed that prayer please send me an inbox message just send me a message and say i am born again just let me know and if you are in Vintuk, hallelujah if you will leave if you live in Vintuk and you don't have a place of fellowship i invite you come and fellowship with us this coming Sunday. We are at 110 Robert Mugabe Avenue and our service is starting at 10 o'clock. We are open for face to face. We have a powerful fellowship. Hallelujah. So there is enough space and we and we adhere to all COVID-19 protocols. So just put on your mask and come and join us. You see, it is not good to say I am born again and stay all by yourself. You have now come into a new kingdom. You need to be taught what it means to be born again. So if you are outside Ventuk, if you are far, find a church, belong to a Bible believing church so that you can be raised up in the ways of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. No more inside story, no more wait. It has been laid aside. I want to thank you once again for joining us online. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for those who always share. Thank you so much for those who always make watch parties. Thank you so much. I always say that is your offering that you are sowing into this ministry. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor your, your offering. May the Lord honor your sacrifice. God bless you. And if you don't mind, if you are online, please share the link. May someone also who is carrying this weight, who is carrying this weight that he or she needs to lay aside, can you just share the link so that they also can lay aside this weight. May the Lord bless you. No, don't, don't feel pressured. Even if you don't share, the Lord will bless you. Hallelujah. The Lord has blessed you already. Don't feel under pressure. No, no, no. That's not our way of doing things at Abundant Life Ministries. That's not our way of doing things. If the Lord ministers to you for you to share, please go ahead and share. And please remember to testify. If tonight's message was for you, if the Lord has spoken to you, let me know. Testify because the Bible says we shall overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by 
of the word of our testimony. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. Thank you so much for joining us online. God bless you and I thank you. I love you. May it be well with you. Hallelujah. No more turning back. No more turning back. Let's praise the Lord.